Okay, now that I've had a nice nap, that happy juice has worn off, and um, I'm better. <laughs> so uh, let's do this. Uh, actually, I do need to save right here. Cool. Uh, yeah, I need to save because if I don't, I'll be screwed, like royally. Oh god, I have it. Oh, I'm sleeping. Yeah, there's no way I'd beat the world record in this game. Because I'd be too damn jittery. Like, straight up, I'd be too damn jittery. Ugh. My god, I hate waking up from a nap. Because it's like, oh, you just want to go back, but you can't. I like sleeping too much. Like, it's my favorite. Run. No, pick it up. Pick it up. Well, looks like I'm gonna need it. Okay, uh... Not sure which way to go. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest with you. I always forget the maze. I don't know why. Oh, I know which way I need to go. Not that way. No, that leads back to the hillbilly house. Or hellbilly house. Got that health pack. Ooh. I think I got a health pack. Yeet. Running. Is that a mushroom up there? Ooh. Ooh, there's two. Perfect. Eight. That's why this game's so stressful, because it doesn't let up an inch. Not once. And they just love to pop up at you at the most inconvenient times. Really? You didn't drop nothing? That's bullshit. Anyway. Uh, I can do this. I think I can do this. I hope I can do this. <laughs> I've done this four times. I don't know why I keep doubting myself. Oof. I love the way that they got that cabin just absolutely correct from the second one. Interrupt my thought. I love the way that they got the cabin just exactly right. Like, it's insane the amount of detail that these guys put in with that background and everything. Although you can get clipped on the backgrounds quite a bit, so you know, it's like, eh. To get the scenario. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. <sighs> Ooh, red mushroom. Yeah, of course you popped up right there. Stressful. Okay, we're running. Fuck it. <sighs> this main road, I swear to God, it's the most stressful part of this game. Okay, so now that we have the car keys, we can do this little diddle. No, I have the key. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, look at that, my battery. And now we have a battery, now we can go back to the campground. And we got another page. Well, we're about to. Oh, good, another page. Yay. Actually, did I read the last one? 
I don't think I ever read the third one. Well, I read one. Oh, I never actually read the second and third, fourth page. Cool. Okay. This uh, Necronomicon page two. The second stage is the manifestation of deadites in the flesh. These crash, yeah, these creatures, these creatures are full-fledged demons and have maintained their ancient form. Page three. Long before man, the dark ones trod the ways of darkness. Redundant, redundant. But their maliciousness was great upon earth, and all creatures bowed beneath their might. I kind of want to see who the dark ones were. Sorry, my mouse pad hit. After being banished in their own realm, the Dark Ones could not cross over into our dimension without the help of man. I, I, I like the fact that they put the Dark Ones in the show, but the problem is, it's like, they're not talked about enough. At least, at least in my perspective, they're not talked about enough, but I do like the fact that they brought the Dark Ones, because the first time, um, oh wait, no. I think you actually hear about the Dark Ones in Evil Dead 2. So, huh, I guess they've been, just been around forever. Hmm. I wonder how deep this rabbit hole goes, like, honestly. Like, I wonder how much thought Sam Raimi put into... God damn it, get off that corner. <laughs> I wonder how much thought he actually put into it, you know? Like, I wonder if he has, like, books of just stuff lying around where it's just like, oh, no, these are the Dark Ones and everything, you know? Like, that'd be cool. Ooh, can I farm right here? Because if I can farm, that would be great. I would love to farm right here. <laughs> Ooh, I can farm a little bit, at least. It's not going to let me do it forever, but, you know, I'll try again. Because I need the gas, I need the supplies. Hey, if it's gonna let me keep doing it. Can we risk one more? I wanna risk one more. Oh, okay. Hey, that's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> is this what this is this what the episode's gonna be? Just farming mushrooms? I'm a shroom far Ooh! Give me health. Awesome. I'll take I'll take a hit. I will take a hit. If I can farm mushrooms. Because the hit ratio is not that bad. <laughs> this is this is stupid. God, this turned into a farming episode. Great. <laughs> Not what I expected, but hey, I'll keep doing it. Hell yeah. Dude, you know how hard it is to farm mushrooms in this game? To find a place to farm mushrooms in this game? It's super hard. <laughs> now, like, I think my primo strategy is I'm going to come back here before the end of this disc. There's two discs, by the way. Oh, no. It told me I had enough. Eh, but that's okay. My mom used to fight these bats all the time, and it was funny. Like, she'd die constantly to them, and I'm just like, just run. Like, you don't have to fight every enemy in this game. Unless you are forced into the situation, you do not have to fight anybody. Aw. Usually there's a mushroom over there. All right, let's see. So let's look at equipment. Um, I got two bigs, two smalls, one big gas can, and six small gas cans. So I should be relatively okay for the most part. I should be, I say that. If I can avoid the ghosts in... Oh, that ain't happening. Dick Beak. Dick Beak. Why, why did I say Dick Beak? I think it's because I'm listening to Dungeon. Yes, I listen to Dungeons and Dragons on my days off. Or actually, on my work days, really. Keeps me focused and it's nice. Plus, it's really nice imagining a story. God, if nobody's listened to a homebrew campaign, I recommend Team Four Stars at the table 
and um, the Unexpectables. Also, Roll With Me, The Ties That Bind is pretty good, but it's like I had to take a break from it. But, yeah, no, if you're looking for a really, really good homebrew D&D campaign, Team Four Stars at the Table is fantastic. It's already been out for, like, ever now. Okay, so... Uh, we can get a boss fight in. Uh, I'm fully equipped for that, so... Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So, we can save, actually, right here. Mm, excuse me. God, uh, I've had a cold. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting my record in on this video, and I'm definitely not beating the new record. Oh, my God, quit. Thank you. Mm, well, I'm not going to use the chainsaw, so I could save the gas. And I'm not, my main concern is health. I should be okay as long as I run. Because I know this part better than anybody. This part's funny because I've practiced this. This is actually one of my hard parts of this game. And we saved, so we should be okay. This would creep me out trying to walk across a log over an open, you know, like floor. God, that would creep me out. We could definitely get a boss rush in this episode, though. Hopefully, I can get it on the first try, but, you know, I. During the whole of your wolf arena, but then again, we seem to be running low on new recruits. Thanks, but no thanks, Doughboy. My scouting days are over. And so are yours. These cutscenes are horrible, but I love them. <laughs> okay. Just run. I don't know why it didn't hit the first time. I can do this. Uh, let's heal up just in case. Run! Get off of him! Oh my god. The slightest mistake will cost you in this game. That's what sucks. Get off of him! What the fuck? Why did it hit me? Oh my god. I got him. Okay. You don't know how easy it is to screw that up. <sighs> oh, he gave me a health pack. That was nice of him. Awesome. Now we gotta get the fuck out of here. Ah, oh, the archery range, I forgot about it. Uh, why do I always forget about it? So that's... I have four pages, so I should be getting the final page here. Whew. God, it's very stressful. Rocks are heavy, but with a little work. I actually got stuck in here one time. Um, I went and I went back in, and I, uh, I couldn't get out. Like, I couldn't interact with the thing to get out, and it just pissed me off so much that I had to turn it off and turn it back on again. And I had to go back, and I had to fight through again. That really sucked. Alright, so I got plenty of gas. I'm okay on health, but I could do better. Alright, so let's save, because that was a big moment right there. Yes. Uh, I wish you had more save tapes, but this game gives you just enough save tapes to get by. Alright, so I have the archery range key. I got plenty of gas. So I should be okay for the most part. Okay, you wanna play a game of whack fuck. Let's go. 
Give me help. Give me help. Give me help. Yeah, baby. Oop. That's the one thing about this game, though. It's like, if you give it an itch, it will take 10 miles because this game will literally assault you. It's a fun game to challenge yourself with because it's, it's very easy to understand, but it's very difficult to master. And I've seen people fail at this game so many times, especially my mom. It was funny as hell. Ooh, mushroom. Actually, I wonder if I can farm right now. Because if I can farm going down the road, that would be nice. I don't know if my TV's being loud or not. I can't tell I'm listening to um, Game Grumps. Mother! No! Oh, this. That has never happened. This has never happened. This has never happened. This has never happened before. Oh my god. It must knew I was abusing the system. Well, let's see if I can find anything over here. That has never happened before, ever. Oh my god, that, that literally scared me. Ooh. Oh my god. I mean, I can technically farm mushrooms here, but it's not worth it. Screw this noise. I was having fun just abusing that, but no, they gotta ruin it. <sighs> Ooh, mushroom. Well, maybe I can farm right here. Who knows? <sighs> that was skirt. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can farm just a wee bit more. Let me see if I can push my luck. I thought it was always funny. My mom kept thinking they were saying find us. And I'm like, no, it's join us. That's what they said in the original movies. Okay, this might be working out kind of well. As long as I can cheese it. Eh, I'm, I keep looking at my timer and I'm just like, oop, run. I love that they cannot go in between areas. That is such a godsend. Because if that were to... Okay, never mind. If that were to happen... Ugh, God, I'd be in trouble. Okay, so... Let's get in here. Any more? The large cabinet looks as if it might hold archery equipment. Too bad it's locked. Well, I mean, if it's archery equipment, what are you going to do with it? You have one hand. You know? It's like, that's, that's just stupid. Ah, oh, yes. Yet another page. <laughs> There's nothing you can really do for this one. Swallow this. Swallow this. Kumbaya. Hold still, will ya? Well, at least they were really? easy. That went a lot better than I thought. Okay. The warrior fell from the sky. The one of my dreams. He made a most glorious entrance. That's a reference... That might be a reference to this game, actually. But that is also a reference to Army of Darkness. Why does that... I've never read the fifth page, I guess. Why does that say that? 
Huh. So oh, weird. A rifle, for some reason the Wolverines didn't use it, you won't make the same mistake. Well, I got no ammo for it, so it's not like I'm going to use it anyway. Anyway, uh, let's see, so exit here. Yes, we have found all five Necronomicon pages, so, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, if you like the channel, subscribe, share it, I don't really know. Um, go watch the... Yeah, TikTok, the Faustus verse uh, 249. Yes, I know. Give me a second. The Faustus verse 249 uh, on TikTok. Uh, I'll have videos uh, in the description below. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you. Oh, God. In the next one. Bye. Bye bye.